Hey guys, my name is David Roman. I'm the author of the Eternal Horizon books, but I also paint and draw. And welcome to another one of my art tutorial videos. Well, technically, it's not really a tutorial, it's just me painting and taping this. So, today I'm gonna do a simple painting. Here's a thumbnail sketch that I did with this. It's going to be uh, just like a spiraling void into on black canvas. It's going to be uh, not, not a lot of colors. I'm going to use like white and blue probably for the clouds. And then I'm going to do like stars there. And this is Buddy. Buddy always interrupts me. Right, buddy? Yeah, I'm going to do clouds there and like stars and just, you know, a pair of uh, hands reaching up. I already have it sketched out on the canvas right here. I know you can't see it probably. And just like the grid. I'm going to have to cover the grid up, man. And the way when I was sketching it out, one arm is bigger than the other, but it's a case, like kind of like this, you know, well, whatever. So it's going to be simple. I'm probably going to fast forward a lot of it. Maybe if you have any questions, let me know. And let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start out just by doing a whole spiral. You know, I'm not worried about the hands. You know? The hands are going to be there. I mean, they might disappear when I do the spiral though. So I'm just gonna do the spiral up to here and then I'm gonna go into details on the spiral. And the reason I'm doing it on a black canvas is because it's easier. <laughs> I could have covered it all in black, but this is, I don't know. It's the first time actually I'm working on a black canvas. So give me a freaking break. Throw me a freaking bone here. First, I'm gonna do the big circle because I, I already point, I, I didn't draw out the uh, the lines I just drew out the circle so let's say this I'm gonna get a different brush for the hands. <clears throat> and the hands I'm gonna brighter up there, darker in the bottom. I'm gonna get a different brush. I got a brand new clean brush with there. Flesh yellow. Just a little bit, man. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the underlayer thing. I'm not gonna do the nails, none of that crap today.
Okay, I stopped. I stopped around here on this line. And I'm just gonna continue on blending. You see how I blended it all in? It's kind of like, you know, in here, so you can see it, but just creating a cloudy effect with white and brown. I mean, white and black. I'm just gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna fast forward now. I'm gonna do something risky now. I hope it works. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a big brush, big flat brush, like this. Ooh, make sure it's dry. And I'm just gonna grab and drag. much better you know I'm gonna get some water and a napkin I'm gonna get a napkin See, the more I do it the less prominent it is you can also get some excess off All right, let's go back to the main, uh, the main glow. I'm not gonna do this yet, but I'm just gonna test it out. I'm going to add, uh, I have a paint marker here. I'm going to add the stars. There's going to be more stars in the middle. I'm just testing something out. All right, one right here. And one right there. Yes. Okay, it's going to look good. So yeah, I'm going to have more star stars, a lot of stars, more in the middle than less. But before I do that, I'm going to go over his uh, arms again. So, uh, that's uh, 
that's on a menu. And I'll, you, you'll see me like I'm putting stars at like places where uh, I see that color didn't mend well, you know, just covering up our oopsies. There we go. Just a little bit, so yeah, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Daytime now, I'm gonna continue applying the stars. But for now, it's like I don't like the way some of the rays. Are visible through here so I'm just gonna do little touch-ups here and there with black and gray I'm gonna you know darker in the dark areas just just touch-ups I still want to have the illusion of the ray go in there okay let me go back to that uh, whiteout pen and I'm gonna start just doing the stars. Actually, you know what? No, I'm lying. Let me go back to the hands and do another layer. I have that flesh color. If you don't have a flesh color, you get yellow ochre and mix it with either pink or uh, it depends. You know, if you're doing somebody that with a darker skin, you go with burnt umber or Sierra, burnt Sierra. Okay, so I'm gonna start adding the stars. The hands are okay for now. I need to add more white there, you know, as it dries, the black's coming out more. Hold on, let me add some more white there real quick. Now I'm gonna grab a small brush and make the bigger stars. I'm gonna start on the hands. Start on the hands. And uh, before we add another layer, I'm gonna do the brown lines real quick. I'm gonna grab, for now, burnt sienna. gonna add some more uh, to the nails like a highlight okay let's uh, 
I'm gonna get a flesh color, mix it with brown. Get like a intermediary color. And like blend in some of the stuff. On a darker. I'm just adding a little bit of white. Actually, no pink. Just I don't want to work with too many colors. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Right there. Right now. Maybe like the bottom of the nail. There we go. That's good enough. That's good enough. I'm gonna leave it alone. I mixed white with some uh, the flesh color. Just add a little highlights here and there. When it dries, it's gonna look better. Okay, I'm starting on the other hand. Let me zoom out real quick, a little bit, so you can see the full thing. There we go. Let's start on the other hand. Finger a little long. <laughs> finger a little long. <laughs> I made a really long finger, right? Give me a break. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's good enough, it's good enough. Let me just do some highlights on the nails and we should be done. I mean, I'm still gonna go back and mess with that finger, but pretty much done. Actually, I like, let me just go back to the flesh color by itself. Uh, that's it, you know, I was gonna make it darker there, but you know, I don't care, man. It's good enough. It's good enough. It's a quick painting. There we go. That's it. We are done. So here we go, guys. I finished this painting. What about? Three or four hours, maybe. I don't know. You know, I only use like what four colors. Yeah. So. And uh, this is like my style, I guess. If you want to do something similar, I'm gonna probably sell this for like four hundred dollars, maybe. I don't know, man. I usually, you know, I try not to charge a lot. But like, I charge by my time. You know, I know some artists like they charge by the vision. Like they'll do a painting in, like two minutes and sell it for ten grand. No. I sell my stuff by the time I spend on it, you know, like I ballpark it. So I'm going to sell about three to four hundred dollars. And uh, I'm still going to take it outside. I'm going to varnish it. And when I varnish it, it's going to bling bling. But this is it. Simple painting. That's how I do it. Please subscribe, man. If you want to support me, please subscribe, hit like, turn on your notifications so you don't miss my videos. I usually post every Friday, but I'm going to try to post more down the road. So please subscribe.